Welcome to labmins.com. In this video, we will show you how to push network settings, both wire and wireless, to your Windows user PC based on computer group membership through GPO. This is very useful, for example, if you need to roll out new wireless SSID or change 802.1x settings in a large environment. So here's how lab setup is pretty simple. We have a domain controller at a IPF 32.40. And we have a test PC on a VLAN 64 with a computer already joined to the domain. And what we're trying to do is to push network setting to the computer. That's specifically a member of a computer group called Wireless Computer. Okay, so before we start with the actual configuration, let me show you how the uh, domain or AD is, is configured right now. So go to User and Computers. We have a a group called wireless computer. Okay, and if you look at the member of the group is the PC is a test PC Win7 test one. And for the user we have a user called admin one. Right? Now here's the test PC. Okay, test one. Just to show you that currently we do not have any wireless profile configured. Also we have the 802.1x settings on the wire disabled. Okay, so hopefully that will change after we push out the network setting. All right, so now let's start with our configuration on the domain controller. You can go administrative tools and then we'll go to group policy management. Okay, we're going to create a object and tie or bind it directly to our domain. So we go create a GPO and link it here. I will call it lm-network. Okay. So now that's created. We go edit, right click and then edit. First we will do the wired network setting. So we go policies, network setting, security settings. Okay, it's right here. It's under wired network policy, and then we'll right click and then create a new wired network policy. All right, so we'll give it a name lm802.1x. The description putting something like lab minutes 802.1x settings. Okay, we'll leave it default, go to security. We want to use, let's say, PEEP with property, with a validate server certificate. We're going to make sure they trust our root certificate, which will automatically use the Windows login name, then OK. Go to Advanced. Let's say we want to enable single sign-on as well. OK, Apply, OK. So that's for the wired network settings. Next we go to wireless network policy. Right click, we'll go create wireless network policies. You can call it something like lm-wireless. The description we'll put lab minutes wireless settings. Okay, we'll, now we go ahead and add an SSID. Add, choose infrastructure, profile name, I'm just going to keep it consistent with the SSID itself, so it would be LM internal, SSID is also called LM dash internal, again case sensitive here, so add, make sure you want to connect to the network even though the SSID is not broadcasting, authentication, we'll leave it WAP, uh, that BPA rather, to encryption, is a yes authentication we want to do p with the property we also want to make sure the uh, the client is trusting the root ca automatically use the window locking name everything will leave at default and here we want to do both user and computer authentication again for advance let's check the single sign-on box click ok Network permission, let's leave them alone and obviously you can adjust them to your liking. We'll apply 
and click OK. All right, so now the network settings is uh, are configured. Next, we come back to our group policies management. And by default for security filtering, basically what or who you want this particular group policy to be pushed out to by default is authenticated users and that's include all the authenticated users and computers. So in our lab scenarios, we want just to push this settings to any computers that belongs to wireless computer group. And I just want to remind you that you can see all these settings is they are configured under computer configuration. So these are all computer related configuration and not user. So when you come and configure for the security groups, make sure you also use computer uh, computer groups, just like we're doing here. So first we're going to remove authenticated users. So remove, and yes, and then we're going to add search for wireless. And here we have a group called wireless computer. Click OK. Next we go and do, let's say, GP update force. We do that on the server and then we're going to come back to our client here. Go CMD. And then to test our group policies result, actually let's do GP. Let's make sure that this computer can ping or has a connectivity to the domain controller first, which it does. And then we'll force the GP update. Okay, it looks like we have to do it one more time. Okay, so now GP update is completed. What you can now do is to test the group policies result. The other command is GP result. And you can see different options. If you just go enter here. First, we're going to do a slash, let's see slash r which is display the rsop summary data so slash r okay so it looks like it eventually went through and here's only for user setting you can see it doesn't really show you the, the the part for computer settings and that's because it requires a admin privilege so we need to do in order to see your your computer settings. So you have to go here, uh, CMD, and then run at administrator. And since we have our account admin one as a local computer, local admin as well, it lets you run that. And then you can do GP results and then for sl uh, slash R again. So while this the user settings is complete, you can see there's no user uh, settings or the uh, group policy is not applied to user settings at all because we did not configure anything. That's why it came back and said empty. So now let's wait and see the result coming back for the computer setting. Okay, looks like we got a uh, part of the output. Let's see, so here's computer settings and under the apply group policies objects, you can see LM network, which is the object that we created is apply. So that's what we want to make sure, although it's still processing. So let's see if there's any change so far now that we know the group policy has been applied to the computer. So first, let's take a look at the wireless, managed wireless network. You can see it's already got pushed out, even without, you know, for us to having actually to lock out or reboot the computer. The settings has already been pushed out to the computer. So all the since this is automatic settings coming from the domain control itself, it's all most of the options are grayed out. So you can't make actually make any changes at all. Go under settings. All the settings are looks exactly just like how we configure it on the domain controller. Okay, so that's for wireless. So wireless succeeded. Let's take a look at the wired. So before we had this disable, also it got successfully pushed out. And now we have 802.1x authentication enabled. And clearly it says right here, the settings being managed by the system administrator. You cannot make any changes. Okay, so simple enough. We have successfully deployed 
or distribute the wireless and wire settings to a domain computer that belongs to a specific computer groups. Okay, so that wraps up our video. Thank you for watching labminutes.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.